Hey traders, this is Ron Haydat, Market Tamer. Happy Tuesday, hope you guys had a great day. As always, nothing in this presentation shall constitute a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Trading stocks and options involves risk and the specific financial issues should always be addressed with your financial advisor. We'll kick off here with the Dow was down a whopping nine cents today. So no change since yesterday. We're still above the 20 day EMA in red, which means the bulls have the edge. We take a look at the SPY down a whopping 38 cents, just barely below its five-day EMA in blue, but still above the 20-day EMA in red. Bulls have the edge there. The IWM, the new whiskey light, which is the Russell 2000 ETF, it did one of the worst today, dropping 73 cents or a whopping 0.47%. It too is still above its 20-day. And the Qs actually finished in the green by a monster 13 cents. So overall, bulls still get the edge of the dailies. Now we have a bunch of stocks to take a look at tonight, and we'll start with Kohl's. The stock jumped 7% today, and in doing so, it broke out, if I zoom in here a little closer, above some of these previous highs. So an upside target now essentially is up there at the previous highs north of 80. We could argue that's 10, 12% higher from here. I would consider a 20 day EMA as end of day trailing stop. I do like how the stock closed the highs today. And that is monster volume compared to what it's been over this period. We take a look at Target, more earnings news. Stock jumped over 4.5%, finished near the highs of the day. You can see the gap down from its past earnings report here in November. We went from basically 77.50 all the way down here to 67.50. Well, the 200 days right there near 77.52. If we can close another buck and a half higher, you know, another 2% or so, the upside target's up there at 87.50. Again, I would consider using the 20-day EMA as a potential trailing stop. C-Trip, more earnings. Stock jumped almost 20% today. Target, previous highs, up around 51, 52 bucks a share. This was epic volume compared to what C-Trip normally does. You could ballpark and say the average volume is about 2, 3 million shares. It was 10, 15 x that today. How about Salesforce.com? We talked about it yesterday being down a little bit. If I zoom in, it did close, you know, definitely cleanly below the 20 day. It did a little bit below yesterday um, as well. But bottom line is target is now 150, 150 bucks, which is right where the 50 day SMA is. Then you come down to the 200 day SMA, which is about 144. Get below there, then you start coming all the way down here. Not saying that's going to happen, but so far we have two big days of selling pressure and we're now breaking moving averages. CVNA, something we haven't looked at much, is Carvana. Nice 14% pop today. We cleanly got back above the 200-day in purple. There's the peak right here, which is right where we closed, and that sort of ties in over here. I would say this, pretty much above 50 bucks, and that's just an approximate, target is back up here to the previous highs, which could be 20, 25% higher. Here again, I would use the 20-day EMA as a end-of-day trailing stop. What I also like about Carvana, look at the volume here on up days and look at the volume on down days. So to me, that says more volume is definitely flowing in than out. And frankly, it even goes back over here where we had bullish engulfing back on February 12th. And that started our descent. Here's a stock, H-U-Y-A. There's a lot of different stocks tonight that I found. Here's Hua, or however you want to say it. But massive volume on earnings. The stock is breaking out. Arguably the target 40, somewhere up here in the upper 40s. You know, there's really no, this was such such a slow descent. There's not a lot of big pockets of overhead supply at this stage. Again, 20 day EMA is a potential trailing stop. And yet another different stock. How about Yext? Not text, but Y-E-X-T. The stock broke above some previous highs here. And we are within pennies of breaking 20 bucks, 32 cents. We close above 20 bucks on a closing basis, 20, 25% higher. I love how this is sort of like a rounded bottom. I love how it's a cup and handle. I can even make an argument and say to you, if you count, this is a double head. There's a left shoulder. There's the right shoulder, inverted head and shoulders. A lot of things looking good right now for YEXT, technically. How about SOGO? SOGAO, I guess is how you say it. Little stock, only... 6.98 a share, 3.6 million um, shares traded today. But once we're above seven, targets the 200 day at eight. Once we're above eight, nine, 10, those are 10 plus percent chunks right now on the upside. 
And how about from SOGO to DOMO, D-O-M-O? This is a stock that looks like it's starting to change trends. However, volume has not picked up just yet. So when I have a stock, whatever it might be, it could be Apple, could be Google, could be Domo, right? It could be Boeing, anything. Really nice rise here. And frankly, you know, a 50% rise is a good amount in two months or so. But if we break that 20-day EMA in red, that would be a stop out for me as a swing trade. We've had a nice run. We get below it. It shows you sentiment is changing just because the price is dropping. And then if volume were to pick up, that would even be worse for the bulls and definitely act as a stop. So a whole bunch of different stocks here to look at. I hope you found this helpful. More stocks to watch. I'm back with you in the next video. Take good care.